I didn't know uh, Jayant for a very long time. I got to know him about a year or two years ago. But not to suggest a contrarian thought, I think more than a memorial, more than a tribute, this is a time to reflect, but more importantly to celebrate what Jayant lived by and lived with. The values, the, the innate decency that Siddharth spoke about, and the manner in which he got things done without any unpleasantness, with consensus building, which was genuine. There was no major effort required. In fact, I remember one day I told him, I said, you are the consummate negotiator. And at that time we were having problems with a certain Indo-American deal. And I told him that if he were the negotiator for the government, things would have happened much quicker. But on a more serious note, I think, what he brought to life is something that is not just inspirational because it's not all up in the air. But more critically, it was the genuineness, the affection, the warmth, and most importantly, the grace with which he conducted himself both professionally and personally. There are very few people, and, and Siddharth mentioned this as well, there are very few people who, when they're not amidst us, we miss them to the extent where we say, what if, and what if he had been around, what, what would he have done in, in such circumstances? The fact that you can reflect on Jayanth in that manner is a testimony not only to his innate goodness, but to the fact that he was a complete man in every sense. Much like what Shakespeare said at the end of Julius Caesar, that nature might stand up to all the world and say, this was a man. And that's what we will miss, but at the same time he's given so much to us in terms of shared learnings, in terms of beliefs and values, that there's enough to celebrate and live by. Thank you.